Eyewitness News, your local election headquarters. The battle continues on what it's going to take for an absentee ballot to count in Rhode Island. Republicans are asking for the Supreme Court to get involved. And Brandon Truitt is live in our control room with more on the signatures needed for a vote to count this year. Hey, Danielle, good morning. Right now, Rhode Island requires a two witness signature or notary for your ballot to be mailed back in. Some are arguing that that role during the COVID era is making it harder and more unsafe to vote. Republicans are arguing that by changing those requirements, you could ultimately lead to higher risk of voter fraud. All of this ending up in court after Governor Gina Raimondo and state legislators did not change the witness requirements themselves. So a group of nonprofits sued the state. A judge first ruled in favor of relaxing these requirements on July 28th. The Republican National Committee and state Republicans appealed that, but a U.S. District Judge ultimately kept the original ruling. Now, in a final effort, an appeal to the nation's top court, the Supreme Court takes just a fraction of its cases. Common Cause Rhode Island is one of the groups who started that original lawsuit to lessen the requirements. In a statement, their executive director responding to the GOP's most recent appeal by saying this, quote, we are in a pandemic requiring voters to have their mail-in ballots validated by two witnesses or a notary adds a significant health risk to the act of casting a ballot. No one should have to choose between their health and their right to vote. Now, the state wants to know if the Supreme Court is taking this up by today. That is because the clock is ticking. Some of these ballots are scheduled to be mailed out for the September primary in a matter of days. In fact, some of the ballots have already been printed without those requirements. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.